Electric cars were supposed to change the world decades ago. They never caught their break because of many political, technological, and financial reasons. If they had a better start a decade ago, China could be an entirely different place. But the cars weren't ready to take on the Chinese market, and Chinese people started buying gas-powered cars instead. Roads and cities have already been designed for gas-powered vehicles, but the environmental conditions in cities like Beijing have reached a precipice. People are no longer living in as much denial about the pollution as they did before. The government has finally started to recognize that pollution exists. It might be time for electric cars to make their big leap in the market. It has been almost four years since the Chinese government decided to largely develop its electric vehicle industry. China was looking to make strides in renewable energy and environmentally friendly tech at the same time. But it's still difficult today for ordinary Chinese consumers to purchase one of these cars. Popularizing Chinese e-cars still has a long way to go. As Saixin.com reports, in order to promote the cars, both the central and provincial governments have provided 60,000 yuan or nearly 10,000 U.S. dollars each in subsidies for e-car buyers. For instance, if an e-car is priced at 360,000 yuan, Chinese consumers only need to spend 240,000 yuan or nearly 40,000 U.S. dollars to get it. But that huge subsidy doesn't apply to everyone. The subsidy from the central government applies to all Chinese citizens. But the local governments only support local e-car manufacturers. Take Shenzhen-based BYD car maker as an example. Shenzhen local residents get a total of 120,000 yuan or nearly 20,000 U.S. dollars in subsidies from both the central and local government. However, a Beijing resident can only get half that amount if he wants to buy a Shenzhen-made car, like the well-known BYD brand. It's the same situation for other e-car makers. China's e-car market now exists under a form of regional protectionism. This kind of subsidy policy has distorted not only China's e-car market, but also the country's electric automakers. The general manager of Dongfeng Automobile Company gave a speech on a conference saying, quote, Chinese new energy car manufacturers have contributed a lot to work in this field. However, until now, it's still hopeless to see any chance to industrialize it. The only goal for these companies is trying to get government subsidies. They never cared about e-car marketization in China. As a result of that, Chinese e-car makers can only rely on government subsidies to survive. Once the money has been spent, they'll just wait for another round of subsidies. Even in the country's largest car market of Beijing, the electric car market is still far behind its development schedule. Not until last year did many people show interest in the cars. The central government has set up plans to support the cars, but they were stuck in a lull. Thanks to the city's world-famous air pollution, the project is finally sped up. Don't go away, because up next we'll continue to look at electric cars in China. Stay tuned.